Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Now, this is a new season, or a new series for Crace Gaming. I have seen, you know, the likes of Christopher Rods play it. Um, and so I've got the basic idea. It's an XCOM type game. Um, but yeah, it was the top scorer on the poll I did, so yeah, brilliant. Naz, welcome mate. So we're going to do a new game. What's this? Explorer. Easy. Medium. Do you know what? We'll play it on Adventurer for the first playthrough, and then if we want to, we can go back and do it on the harder. I'm a bit scared of the uh, of the harder difficulty on this. Okay, interesting. Didn't really tell us an awful lot. Those cards are going to be a big part of the game that we saw in the puddle. The sneaks takedown. Sucker punch is perfect for eliminating lone enemies. Oh, the loading times are crazy. How about I find our missing courier? You stay here and guard Straight my back. Straight to the action. So you Love can it. get the baggage yourself and cut me out of the job. Ah, nice try. Whatever you say, gentleman Jin. So, Is where's the so keys? Hard? Rotate, well, obviously, as usual. You. Sprinting makes noise. Indicate by expanding rings around the agent. Other sources of noise, including firing a weapon, destroying an object. Enemies who hear a noise will become suspicious and may move to investigate, which you can use with your advantage. Wait here. Grouping. Press G or double click an agent with. Oh, I see. So it either moves them. Press G again or something. Okay. Keep on the mouse. Okay, click and move. Usual stuff for XCOM type games. Okay, good. Maybe so, stop trying to press the keyboard. For as long as you have, I think. So about three hours. Boop, boop, boop. Done. Hold shift. There's a little bit of lag. I wonder what that is. Most doors can be opened. Real time movement. So you're playing in infiltration mode where agents move in real time around the map. Agents have a real real time roles, either sneak, bruiser, saboteur, gotcha. The door ahead is bolted, but the sneak can clamber up the nearby netting. Okay. You wait. wait. F. The door is barred. I guess you're lucky I'm here then. Uh-huh. And Z to switch agents. Okay, cool. Oh, you wait. 
did for me. Group him up again. And then we Let's control go. him. Let's control her instead. This way. Breaking walls. Ingrid is a bruiser, of course she is. Able to bring down weakness barriers to create new paths. How's that for a kicker? The trick is wanting it bad enough. Ah, oh, for recon. Recon mode. The recon mode used to explore the world and gain useful information about various objects, including enemies and the agents. <laughs> Why are you being so noisy, baby? What's the matter? Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's try. So this is recon mode. Okay, so you're just basically having a look around the map. Find damn, look at the lag. That's mental. She does not like recon right now. Someone has blocked the streets. Definitely not police. Yeah. If I didn't know better, I think someone was trying to funnel movement. Okay. And so end is retreat. This mission cannot be abandoned. Okay. But it does mean that you can. Scoundrels know when to cut their losses and get gone. If a job starts to go belly up, press N to abandon the mission. This will forfeit the mission rewards and add the mission threat to the Scion's doomsday clock, but the agents will survive the fight another day. Let's hope we don't get to use it. Is there a map? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Look, there's a courier. Uh, uh, he's sleeping? <laughs> nope, he's dead. No sign of the package. So much for an easy job. The poor guy's still warm. The package can't be far. A letter from our employer. So, Mysterious L. Monsieur T, my agents will meet you as arranged and I expect you will deliver. Why else would you write our mutual friend about discovering the cards? Surely you knew he would write to me. So send me the deck and be done with it. Do not stand between me and my revenge. So this is a revenge story, is it? Now he did drop another card. What's this? Tomorrow's issue is Le Petit Parisien. The Little Paris. Yeah, go on. Up we go. Another of those masked soldiers on the roof. Who are they? No idea. But ten francs as one of them has our package. Okay. So he's obviously got a line of sight. So it's not the ocean. There's a lookout ahead with a well-defended position. Get too close and the agents m will enter the guard's field of vision, causing him to become suspicious. A frontal attack is an option, but not the only one. Scoundrels like Ingrid, uh, Ingrid and Latif can handle certain threats while staying silent. As a sneak, Latif had several advantages during infiltration. infiltration. When not grouped with other agents, he moves more quietly and can approach enemies from behind without being detected. Ungroup and switch to Latif to narrow the enforcer's field of vision, then move. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. It's not got the entire ring. Simple, but clever. Okay, during infiltration, agents can use takedown. So much for him. Any sign of the package? These guys are flunkies. We're looking for a bigger fish. <sighs> An hour ago, this was a cakewalk. Now we've got the dead courier and goons in gas masks. Right this way. Really? So you can only group with people that are standing next to you. Let's move. It's got to be within that field. That's good to know.
Two guards up ahead. Too many to sneak, but bruisers like Ingrid can use slam and take down up to three targets at once. Oof. Okay. Stay put. That's mental. But she can only do two of so many. Follow me. And we gotta go back and get him. Another flank. Perhaps we can slip past them. Uh, let's try not. Sit tight. Well, there's two. Make too much noise. Or <laughs> into the field of vision, then he's become suspicious. When an already suspicious enemy sees or hears something fishy, an expanding red circle appears around them, indicating that they are watching their surroundings. If an agent gets caught in the red circle, combat will start. Oh, yeah, it's back. Agents can use cover to stay outside. Okay, cool. Sneaks have an extra trick up their sleeves. When ungrouped and next to any cover, sneaks are cloaked. Even when they are in the enemy's line of sight. Wait, so... Oh, I see. Grouping up with... Okay. Oh, yeah. Cloaked. Interesting. So if we go here, cloaked. Okay, so I've got none left. Makes me want to play Splinter Cell. Oh man, I'm, like I'm, I can't wait for them to bring a new game out of that. The gas mask wearing hat. Sooner or later, it'll be time to fight. Best to do it on the agent's own terms. Position the agents and then enter turn, turn-based mode with control. Choose the opening attack carefully. As soon as the enemies become aware, they'll take cover, making them harder to hit. All agents get 15 to hit in the first round of combat. Okay, that's good to know. Are you there? Let's meet up. Is there anyone else here, or is it just him? Okay. So they've gone loud and are now turn-based. In turn-based combat, agents may take their turns in order. Agents' combat abilities appear to have the ability... Uh, sorry, appear in the ability bar at the bottom of the screen. Each ability costs one or more action points. Navigate the bar. So it's got, it's got an action points, movement points type system. Navigate the ability bar. Uh, or hitting it with the mouse, fine. So, movement points... Movement in combat costs one AP or two AP, depending on the distance. Select the movement ability and then use the WASDA keys to move the mouse. Okay, fine. Okay, yeah, so move ability. Shoot pistol and overwatch. Decoy. Signature ability sets a 120 HP decoy in a cloud of smoke, becomes invisible, and moves to a selected location. Nearby enemies attack the decoy for two rounds or until it's destroyed. Two rounds? That's even better than the Mimic Beacon. So that's the chances. Some abilities need a target, cycle through, or tab, 
and select one with the or hit him with the mouse or whatever. While targeting the ability's chance to hit uh, hit and chance to hit to score a critical damage are displayed on the right hand side of the screen. Here. So base chance, range minus ten, damage fifteen, so to hit and to sixty five to crit. Am I making this look too easy? Right, so he's got one AP left. Overwatch. So, the signature ability, most powerful move. Agents can use their signature once per mission, but if deployed correctly, they will change the tide. Yeah, well, that's not then. I didn't know it ended your turn. That sucks. So, two AP. Something bothered me. Okay. The courier's body was a pin cushion, but none of these goons have knives. Yeah, I, they let me get away with it. So, the blue yellow movement. Like XCOM, yeah, basically. But you only get two AP. I didn't see that down in the corner. Right, let's go and get our friend. Don't wander. Okay, we haven't got any more knockout points. So he's just going back and forth, but, so, okay. Are you just behind cover or harder to hit? Yes, thank you. Inflicts knockdown upon all adjacent enemies. Oh, I don't really want to do that. Fire that. First attack attempt is made will be evaded. I should have stood right in the middle, but it's fine. Okay, so you've got there. There's no time to waste. There's ammo too. That might, yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay. That was fun. Let's pick up our friends. 
So, what's he like? Elf, I mean. He has neat handwriting, and he pays well. You've never met him either, huh? Hmm. I bet our package is inside one of those crates. Ah, they're loading the trucks to go. Then we need to move fast if we want our payday. What's this? Eavesdrop. She thinks they'll be here because some poor buzzer's lower intestine told her so. Keep your voice down. The last guy who doubted her rituals became the next ritual. <laughs> so this is going to be a much harder fight because there's four of them. But we do have both their special abilities. Okay, they're all bunched up. Let's move. There. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. Ah, oh, it doesn't even kill them. Damn it. Come on. I made a mistake, but it's fine. Gentlemen Jin of Cairo. Punch him. Nice, good shot. She's getting minced. <laughs> Missed. Okay, I had a feeling it would, but... You can't survive another hit, love. The trouble is that didn't start how I thought it did, and so I've got myself in trouble because of it. Well, I think she's for it, but we'll see. You can see the hit percentage. Stress. An agent has suffered a stress break. Battle takes its toll. Everyone in the field, both agents and enemies, accumulates stress during combat. Displayed as a meter just above the health bar. When a stress meter fills up, that poor soul cell suffers a stress break. After a stress break, agents have one fewer AP. Awesome. She's going down anyway. I won't. Hold on. I'll be there before you can blink. Okay, you come over here. Sometimes I amaze even myself.
Okay. These hands. I've got a delicate touch. I'm fine. We have a job to finish. Yeah, this ought to help. Okay. Move here. Really? Oh, that's the decoy. Okay. Yeah, you're going to punch him. I'm not here to play games. Oh, I actually got him. Good. It was worth it. Let's try that one. You picked the wrong fight. Oh, and you can hit afterwards too. Oh, and whoever's shooting gets 100%. They still haven't seen whoever carved up the coil. Hey, I have an idea. Let's leave before the butcher shows up. Got the package. Then it's time to go. There was something else around here, too. Mission success. Lady Nicastra has retrieved the deck. Departure slightly delayed as we wait for her to finish praying. I have already sent a cleanup crew to follow her in her wake. Given tonight's excitement, I told them to expect at least three more bodies. Uh huh. So it is worth having a look around the map. Even if it's a quick little squidge. Yeah, okay. Car just ahead. We can take that to the rendezvous. I'm going to open this package. I think we deserve to know what we just risked our lives to steal. I won't I wouldn't do that for you. And Mr. L hired us to retrieve playing cards. Play? Playing cards? A troop of uniformed mercenaries killed a man for a deck of blank playing cards? Not what I'd call a winning hand. It will be when we traded in to Mr. L for our paycheck. I like the story so far. Very mysterious. Actually, as I said, I'd seen Christopher Rod play it. I think the story is... I haven't got too far into it, but it sounded very Indiana Jonesy. And I'm perfectly happy with that. Very much a fan of the Indiana Jones series. This is the place. From here I didn't even bother with the new one, of course. Can you fly an aeroplane? Because I could probably figure out. Oh, we got a new person. Let's hope the contact we're meeting knows how. Over the Siamese salt tang of the ocean, whilst a delicate floral scent of fresh oranges. We have fresh oranges, people. What else we got? The gas masks from Paris are here too? Impossible. There's no way they got here before we did. Why has he got a special mark above his head? The enemy is on guard, indicating the yellow eye above his head. Enemies on guard won't move from their post, but they may call their buddies over to investigate on their behalf. They are also more alert and quicker to catch infiltration agents, even sneaks to approach from behind. Veteran, find fulfillment, good pay, the banished court. Agents can hide in tall grass.
That crate of explosives is dangerous, dangerously close to the pool of flammable oil, and those in force of patrol routes might take them right past it. When the agents are ready to go loud after turn-based mode, select a ranged attack ability, use tab, and target the explosives. So, like XCOM. Eavesdrop. Cold night tonight? No, it's not. That's just what happens when you step through the crossroads. Fastest way to travel. That turns your blood colder than a ghost. So... So you can stay there. I missed my Charles because I was fat fingering the controls. Yeah, very noir. I do like that as well. Very noir. But it doesn't actually kill them. Oh, it does. It did kill them. Okay. One clear shot. That's all I need. It's a bit early to use that, I think. Uh, cancel. Use evade instead. Bash his brains in. No hard feelings. What have you got on that one? Twenty five. Twenty five. See the other guy yet? Okay, so that will increase my chances. And these can only be used once per mission. Fifty-five on him. Come on, Missed. God me. damn it. All right. Correct thing. One AP. There's no time to waste. We'll be evading. Thank you. Come 
missed. And again, it's definitely an XCOM type game. So she, if she can get someone in blue move, she, um, oh shit. Should have checked first, you dickhead, but never mind. Who are these goons? Secret police? Communists? Anarchists? None of those seem to fit. This is something else. We found a suitable candidate for the finding, and the Lady Nicastro was able to perform the ritual. She says the intro has indicated Marseille as the thieves' destination. We are preparing the mobile crossroads beacon now. Apologies for the stains on this letter. The last time I stand downwind during a finding. So we've got to go that way. So it's going to be up and round. Okay. The metal is bristlingly cold, far too cold for a French night in March. From within comes a faint mechanical hum. Can we get in there? Sends his regards. Okay, guess not. You can't get in through the window. Okay, maybe that's the way we come out later. Let's get it done. Y'all got the package? That depends. Are you the pilot? Me? No. I'm the guy who's going to get you to him in one piece. Eddie is a saboteur. Saboteurs can pick locks, use shop mines to take down enemies during infiltration. The door up is locked, switch to Eddie and open it. Fine. On the move. Agents can pick up and carry useful items. Anything an agent picks up is displayed in the inventory slots. Use an item, first select the inventory slot. Yeah, find med kits, grenades, things like that. Once the item appears on the ground, the other agents can always grab it. Yeah, I can use this. Bandages. So that's how you drop it. Okay. Okay. At or around nine, uh, 2100, a troop of unknown soldiers entered Dock 94 of Vieux-Port de Marseille. Or Vieux-Port de Marseille. Without warning or authorization, I've attempted to contact the gendarmerie, <laughs> but no one has responded. Their leader is... The report leaves off here in a blot of ink, as the writer had been called away mid-sentence. Okay. Didn't catch your name, cowboy. Eddie Sawyer. Pleased to meet you. They call me the gentleman, Jim. Sure thing. Mind you, he's leaving. Sister. Just Ingrid will do. Let's keep moving. <laughs> shock mines. During infiltration, saboteurs can throw shock mines to lure enemies out of position. Those who come to investigate will find themselves on the receiving end of a deadly electric current. Oof. Okay, so there's one there. Elevation grants hit chance bonuses. Sit tight. Hold 
lot of guns this way. Not sure about this. Ahead is an optional area. The agents don't need to enter it to complete their mission. In fact, doing so may make their victory even harder, as the area is crawling with patrol guards. But optional areas may contain valuable rewards when we have to now, don't we? Only kills the one that approaches it. And we have to shoot from here. There, dual shot. Range basic attack early fires twice at this uh, with this revolver taking targeting up to two different enemies. Accurate mid range. Eddie's dual shot. Okay. But the water may affect it more than one. Oh, but the water may make it affect more than one. Oh, yay, the trip mine. That's. Is that the thing, I wonder? Screw it, let's try it. Easy as pie. Oh, it did as well. Thank you, Naz. Alerted. Man, really? Signature ability, lay down a hail of fire, dealing damage to all enemies. Y'all may want to start running. Yep, that works. There's no you can evade. Forty percent. I'm twice and missed. Awesome. You can evade. If we can end this guy, it just make things an awful lot easier. Got him. Okay. Got 
taking notes on this? You really want to impress me? Do that again. Man, she never gets the... AP. Oh yeah, might as well screw it. Forty percent. Got, Got him. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, definitely yeah, got ninety percent misses, eighty percent misses. Yeah, you can bet your ass. So that's a shortcut from where we were. So if we die, we've got this open, I guess, is how it works. A souvenir. So everyone's got bandages. The pilot of this vessel is an alleged smuggler wanted in the United Kingdom for transport of illicit materials. No action to be taken at this time. Let the Brits see to it. And to 2. Constant Terry's passenger also has a warrant under the arrest for the United States. No action to be taken. Worse. So we've now got a flash bomb. Oh. Yeah, not yet. Do you know what? Let's just keep going. Send him in alone. Shit. Down we go. Still got one of these left. Something up. Thank you, Doctor. Bollocks. That's fine. There's only two of them anyway. Disappointingly easy. What's next? Move out. Yep, that works. Some doors can be opened using keys. Once, uh, once one agent picks up a key, any of them may use it to open the corresponding door. Good to know. Anyone hurt? Not bad. Field medicine. Might as well while we're here. 
Do gold numbers mean you got to crit? Yes. Take this guy out with this. You got any idea who these gas masks are, Sawyer? Seems like there's a new militia every week these days. A lot of Joes came back from the war unfit for anything but killing. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. But it seems a type of game that you do have to trek all of the nooks and crannies that you can, or that you see. Oh, shit. So you can get away. Excellent. We'll just wait for him to stroll off. Let's try you. Nap time. Nice. This way. Who is this? Okay, going that way, I guess. Yeah, no, we got that. It's open. Okay. So we basically cleared There's the whole place. Now where'd that damn pilot get to? Smoke bomb. Something twists beneath the surface, greyish green and scaly, and then with a splash, it's gone. Recon mode. Water. Oil. They will be here, and the deck with them. Doubt me again, when the next end hails I breathe will be yours. Lady Nicastro is a deadly adversary. When signs like her are on the field, there's no shame in running and live fight another day. The escape route is that aeroplane at the end of the dock. Reach it to escape Lady Nicastro, and don't forget the pilots. Give me a moment. It's 
one in front of him. Get rid of him. No, we can't. But I have a feeling we might be able to get rid of these two together. Come back over here. Uh, come on, pal. Don't give me the silent treatment. Let's work something out. God That's damn it. the pilot. That's those two at least. Okay. Your turn. And we'll do it over Come there. On. Go check it out. You know you wanna. Someone else is gonna do it on his behalf. Okay, let's go and see if there's someone else that we can knock out with this guy. Because I'm sure there's a lonely guy walking around here somewhere. And then all we have are these three guards. Come on, get stuffed. Oof, that was close. That's the boss anyway, we want to try and avoid her. So, let's deal with this guy real quick. I guess we're going loud. 90%, 10% crit. Let's get her a bit quicker. A bit closer, rather. Now we can go. Now we should be able to do this. Shit. Make me an offer. We're not for sale. At the moment. You got both. Why then do 
done. Bang. Three remaining. What she got? We're with L. You must be the pilot. So our missions, we'll allies like Captain Nicky have a few tricks up their sleeve, but their real worth lies on the lies off the battlefield. So he can evade. Three hundred and fifty. And we can't hit her, so we have to leg it. Oh, she hit me. Okay. Okay, you, my love. Move and you. Oh, bollocks. Wrong way, dude. Wrong way. Shooting the shit out of that thing. I gotta go talk to some whiskey about this. You okay over there? We've got bandages if we need be. takes her attention. And we need to kill one of these guys. Very nice. Yep, that works. And you can evade as well. We don't need to kill her. We just need to reach that plane. Worthy adversaries, you want the undrawn hand? Take it! I can claim the tower without it. Okay. And shoot him again. Just getting warmed up. Area clear. Come on, come on. Take the bandages. Oh. And we'll let the pilot lead. But we're going to have a quick squiz around first. Ah. Oh, I hope it's a good scar. Is that? Do go. Uh, she looks like a ball buster. Yes. <coughs> Shame we can't get that. <coughs> Don't 
don't mind if I do. We'll take the smoke bomb. <coughs> Nothing up there. Okay, yeah, I think we're done. Again, I just wanted to have a little look around just in case there was anything to grab. Like that. But I think that's bandages, is it not? Which we don't need. Everyone on board! Okay. We just saved you. Go, go, go. <coughs> Here we Where's are. this cough come from? Del Vasto's Landing. Now we find out what kind of man pays this well for a blank deck of flame cards. Wouldn't mind knowing who the hell we were fighting back in Marseille. Never seen troops like that before. Let's see what this Mr. L has to say for himself. Can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, do you know what? Um, it was a little bit dicey in terms of where to put people and how the powers work at first, but you do get hold of the game fairly quickly. But yeah, it certainly is getting used to the different, you know, it's a new game, new abilities, new characters, that sort of thing. A lovely little Mediterranean island you have here, Mr. Ed. I assume you are Mr. Ed? I have that dubious privilege. Welcome, Monsieur Lejeune, Ms. Erickson, Mr. Sawyer. Do you have the undrawn hand? I do, as a matter of we fact. We have a package for you. What's inside, we can say, of course. It's keeping it professional. Ah, of course. Regardless, that deck of cards is key to your next job for me. Oh. Slow down, pal. Who says we're interested in a next job? The last one burned your courier. And those two saw the body. Then you three may divvy his pay among yourselves. And I'll sweeten the pot for this next one. 50%. Sounds like a deal. You sound desperate. Okay, Mr. L, I'll humor you. What do you want us to do? In a word, sabotage. I'm in a race, you see. A race to find an ancient ruin, a tower. You may know it under one of its other names. The Axis Mundi, the World Tree, the Tower of Babel. Oh, you're an archaeologist then. That's disappointing. <laughs> I am no archaeologist, Monsieur Lejeune. And my rivals in this race are even less so. We have got no reason to trust this guy whatsoever. He looks dodgy. The tower. My enemies. He does have a good voice. Ransack it. It cannot be allowed to fall into their hands. I reckon this guy is like the top head bad guy. And I don't know this for sure because I've not seen it. I've only seen the first couple of missions. That's it. She's one of these rivals? <coughs> Zorana Nicastro. Yes. She and two others. So a the chosen woman and an industrial tycoon. Each is the scion of their own <laughs> noble house. Collectively, they call themselves the Banished Court. Science of the Banished Court. Mm-hmm. AKA and how chosen. Close are they to finding the tower? They've already found it. You said okay. you were in a race. I was. And I lost, but I'm not out of the fight yet. My enemies have yet to enter the tower. It is a dangerous place, and their preparations are incomplete. I want you three to sabotage their efforts until I can find the tower myself. Sabotage, huh? You have a target in mind? My sources have identified an outpost belonging to another of the court's three leaders, the tycoon Trace Marteau. You know, I bet all of this space gets filled out with people that we're taking Marta. with us. That chair Isn't here. Isn't that the famous American industrialist? The one who's always in the papers? The very same. I want you to infiltrate his outpost, sabotage a machine you'll find at the center, and return to me. Sabotage requires a subtle hand. You'll need me. In the spirit of charity, I accept. You'll need me too. 
But if the other two scions are anything like Nicastro, I ain't risking my neck for free. Mr. Sawyer is right. Double our fee, Mr. L, and we'll get to work. Double it is. And please... Should have asked for triple. Call me Locke. Should have asked for triple love. Week one. Welcome to Del Vastro's Landing, the tiny Mediterranean island served as Locke's hideout, a place to take refuge from his enemies and plan his next moves. Now it will do the same for the agents in his employ. Navigate the world map in the menu at the top of the screen to plan agents' next move. All this for one long lost tower, huh? There must be something very valuable <coughs> inside. I wonder why Locke thinks he's the one who should have it. You sure ask a lot of questions, kid. It's part of my job. Besides, I've seen my share of archaeological expeditions. Most of the time, everyone goes home empty-handed. Sometimes, you only wish they did. Mr. Locke hasn't asked us to break out the pickaxes. He just wants us to smash up some machinery. That's another thing. Trace Marteau is in a secret alliance with that Nick Astro woman. How's that for an odd couple? He's working on flying cars and she's running around with antique swords. How did they meet? Yeah, an antiques fair, probably. I wonder that too. It keeps me up at night. I'm trying to count the money Locke paid me, but I keep losing count because I can't stop wondering. <laughs> Mr. Sawyer, I'd be happy to count your money for you. Just say the word. Huh, I Gentlemen, bet. please. It's simple. Two sets of wealthy eccentrics have decided to indulge in an archaeological competition. Our Mr. Locke and this banished court. And if we play our cards right, we'll come away rich enough to cultivate eccentric hobbies of our own. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be preparing for our next mission. We wouldn't want to disappoint our employer, would we? One more thing. These are portable radios. They'll allow you to communicate in the field as if you were standing side by side. That's the tiniest radio I ever seen. In the war, they were big as rucksacks and heavy as sin. The modern world is one of strange and rapid change. I'll take any advantage it provides. Technology, gotta love it. I remember when my grandfather, my old old grandfather, saw an email for the first time. He emailed a friend in Mexico, sent it there and back in a few seconds. He was absolutely amazed. So, you finally have your cards back. Was it worth it? Without a question. The undrawn hand is no ordinary deck of cards. Oh yeah? You're going to do a reading? See your future? Can you see my future? Centuries of study. And we've only scratched the surface of the card's potential. But we know this. The undrawn hand doesn't predict... Can it give oh, me it, a it doesn't predict the future. It changes it. Sorry. Own, and don't have to work for you anymore? The cards prefer those who tempt fate. Perhaps if you keep sticking your neck out in the field, like you did in Marseille. <sighs> Forget about it. I almost got my head sliced off on that last job. I I'll keep flying your gang of crooks around, but I I'm not getting off the plane anymore. Not for anything. Not to worry. My agents will handle the field work from now on. Glad we see eye to eye. Good night, boss. Hope somewhere in those cards of yours is a winning hand. Huh. There is, Captain. There has to be. Okay. These are the agents. So this is the agent screen. Use this view to manage the scoundrels and locks employed by equipping items to prepare them for the next mission and spending skill points to unlock new tricks of the trade. The agents earn some skill points from Retrieving the undrawn hand, spend them now by selecting skills in the upper left hand corner. Agent skill tree. Skill points from mission unlock nodes and open new paths, allowing the agents to grow stronger. Skill points are shared resource and agents can benefit from them without having to participate in the missions. Oh, they're shared. Okay. Spread your current skill points between Ingrid, Latif, and Eddie, or drop them all in a single agent. Okay. So we have one. Mm. 
Melee debuff ability. A devastating hit and run attack that inflicts blinded and grants Ingrid a free action move action. So it gets to punch someone and move away. We'll take that. We'll take that. Oh, skill points five. So we can do all of them. Distract. We'll just get all of the... Light them up. Range ability attacks four targets, ammo permitting. Hitting targets are flushed out of their current locations, abandoning and covered if applicable. All targets gain marked. Oof. So we've got three left. Melee Overwatch. Passive Overwatch ability performs a melee attack on the adjacent enemies, performing a hostile action. Yes. One left. We'll keep it there for now. Four types of equipment, armor, accessories, weapon wants and pocket items. Outfit the agents from here. We have an undrawn card. Okay. So I guess we actually haven't got any cards to give him yet. Okay. <coughs> world map. This is the world map Locke uses to plan his secret war against the signs of the Banished Court, use it to track the court's progression, and plan the agent's next moves. A pin on the map represents the sabotage job Locke wants done. Select it to begin the mission. Uh, not yet. Looking good out there, champ. Captain Nicky sells a variety of rare items, so this is the shop. So we've got all the things that we picked up before. No armor or weapon mods. Okay. I have no choice. Okay, destroy a generator built by Marto. Uh, from automobiles to home radios to government military contracts, Marto industry has its fingers in every pie. This is a critical mission. So, I think I'm going to leave you there now, folks. I think we can do this. I'm, I actually had a lot of fun with that, to be fair. I think the character progression is going to be one of the things that makes this game, if it does it right. The story also is very intriguing. But I, like, I don't trust Locke from the, from the very start. We don't know anything about him. He is shady as fuck. He is creepy. And so, I don't trust him. I think... I think he's going to turn out to be the big bad guy or something. Naz, thank you very much for popping along and everyone else is watching this after the fact. Um, I will be starting to release episodes of this. Um, I'll try every day, but it may be every couple of days. Yeah, it is a neat game. I'm quite pleased with it, actually. So that's it. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate it. My name is Commander Crace. Signing off. <laughs>